Welcome, my friends, to the Bob and Brad podcast, produced by Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. I am Bob, and uh, exactly one half of the Bob and Brad team. And my guest today is Dr. Joseph Allen, an optometrist from Minnesota, by the way. And he has a great YouTube channel called Dr. I Held. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about his background, but he's got a lot of great advice for you. If you have one or two eyes, I would check it out. Thanks for watching. Let's go on to um, a big one that s seems like a lot of people are worried about is uh, bags under their mm -hmm. eyes when, even though they had a good night's sleep. You know, right. So there, bags under the eyes. There's different different types of terms people will use for this, and there are different types of eye bags. Um, but the the tough thing is is that when you're really young, your eyes may look more sunken in or swollen, uh, especially if you um, are around allergies, if you have dry eyes, perhaps uh, the salt content by staying on the eye from the evaporation of the tears in the dry eye world can cause irritation, inflammation. So eyelids can look puffy and swollen. Uh, a lot of people notice this in the early mornings. So sure. that, that can have that appearance. For most people, as we get older though, uh, there is a layer of tissue around your eye that holds the eye in its place, as well as the fat around the eyes. That's called the septum. And so for a lot of older individuals, this tissue becomes more elastic and starts to kind of bend outward. So the fat around the globe of the eye start to push against this elastic tissue and it starts to bulge outward. And just due to gravity, this happens on the lower eyelid more than it would on the top eyelid. And so people start to see these eye bags and they get really frustrated because uh, that it makes their appearance look more tired or uh, older. Sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, so thankfully, you know, if your eyes are just puffy, you know, from either you cried the night before you watched a really sad movie or you have allergies, uh, cold compresses do help just getting cold to them. Just like if you have inflammation of your elbow or something, it's a little bit swollen, getting cold to that helps. The uh, antihistamines, if it's an allergy, can help as well. There's some, you know, cost, uh, cost benefit to that uh, if you're using antihistamines because that can also dry out the eyes, <laughs> dry yeah. out the body. So may or may not help, but, uh, so there's some rules to that. And that kind of goes to what everybody thinks that they think, Oh, I'll put cold cucumbers on the eye. I saw that in a TV right. show or something right. at a spa once. And that's what it's doing. It's, it's really adding the, the temperature difference is going to constrict the or, blood vessel uh, cold spoons. Right. I, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. that was a, that's, you know, I've seen some funny tricks on that uh, online and so you have to kind of comment on that, but it's just about getting cold there to constrict the blood vessels. Sure. Uh, and that helps with the inflammation. The true eye bags that people develop as they get older, unfortunately, there's really nothing to get rid of that long term other than uh, to have a surgery done to more or less tighten up the eyelids. Gotcha. There are different serums and creams that are always sold online. It's like, oh, act now and get you know for this cream for eleven dollars or fifteen dollars. They often do help momentarily. They just tighten up the skin. Sure. Uh, but they don't last long term. It's not going to get rid of it forever. Um, when you say so, momentarily, you mean an hour or? Yeah, uh, it usually lasts for a few hours. I personally haven't. Yeah. I, I think I've tried one or two of them just because I was going to talk about it and I felt sure. like I needed to investigate it myself more. And it does tighten up your skin. Uh, I even know some uh, cosmetic surgeons who formulate and sell this themselves because some people just don't want to go through surgery. It's like, well, we have to give them some alternative. Sure. Um, and in general, the eye care community, again, we're a little hesitant about cosmetics right now. So uh, I don't typically recommend them to anybody, but sure, it is an alternative. Makes sense.